this is about tariffs, but it's also about more than tariffs. And uh, speaking of that massaging, uh, last night I talked to a senior administration official uh, who gave me an explanation for what happened here with Gary Cohn. Here's what the official said. Uh, said that this was uh, a mutual agreement here, uh, and it was the end result of four to five weeks of discussions between Trump and Cohn about what his role in the administration would be after tax cuts. I'm told they discussed a wide variety of potential roles for Gary Cohn, uh, including uh, possibly a cabinet position. And you mentioned that reporting that he might be in line to take over for John Kelly. Cohn does not have a firm exit date. He's offered to help uh, with the search for a successor, but I'm told that he has not named a specific name to the president of somebody he would like to have in that position. So who are the front runners to succeed Gary Cohn? Well, I'm told that uh, Peter Navarro, the trade czar you just mentioned, uh, is one possible candidate. Another possible candidate is Larry Kudlow, who viewers of this network will recognize. What does this mean for the president's views on trade? Uh, an administration official telling me last night this is a huge victory for the nationalists. Peter Navarro won the trade battle, and now Gary's given up. It literally reestablishes the intellectual framework and the personnel who were originally envisioned after Trump won the election. We can let Trump be Trump. And I think that last point is a really important one, Joe. The idea here is that Gary Cohn was sort of a New York Democrat, a Goldman Sachs globalist uh, who came in uh, and was operating counter to the president's natural instincts on trade. Removing that now puts the president in the position of getting advice from people like Wilbur Ross and, and Peter Navarro, uh, who are much more nationalist in their orientation on trade, and that will fuel Trump's natural tendencies on trade. That's the way the nationalist faction is describing this inside the White House. The sort of free trade faction inside the White House is saying, well, there are other people there uh, who can still make that free trade argument to the president. But in the absence of Rob Porter, the White House staff secretary who helped Gary Cohn make sure that his views got to the president and perhaps other views didn't get as much airtime in the Oval Office. And now Gary Cohn, uh, those free trade voices are going to be fewer and further between inside the Oval Office, guys. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.